you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about excuses. Excuses. Excuses as to why we don't always hit our money saving goals. Hey, we all have them and I thought it would be a really interesting collaborative project to invite other budgeting YouTubers to sit down and discuss their personal excuses as to why they don't always hit their money saving goals. I will have all other YouTube channels linked down below and they will also be linked in a playlist at the very end of this video. Please take time to check them out. I promise you, you will not regret it. If you like these kind of budgeting videos, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. And if you are new here, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a new video onto this channel, but no more procrastination. That's also an excuse. Here are my top five money saving excuses. Number one, I'm too busy. Kristen, show me somebody who isn't busy. This excuse usually takes place with my love hate relationship with meal planning and meal prepping. I know that it is financially smarter and calorically smarter to prep my meals, especially lunches and dinners during the work week. So I know how much I'm spending on food and exactly what foods I'm putting into my body. But once Sunday rolls around and the idea of going to the grocery store, making a list and then spending hours prepping and dividing the food into its containers and putting it all in the fridge and then cleaning up said mess. The idea of sitting on the couch just looks so good. It looks so good. I've even shown myself in my budgets how much I save by meal prepping, but the idea of thinking I'm too busy, and by busy I mean napping on the couch all day, to really make that motivation stick. The way I get around this excuse is to plan a reward. Yes, I'm 10. I tell myself if I can get to the store early, get past all the Sunday shoppers, get home, meal prep, and clean it up, I will have everything done hopefully in the mid-afternoon and then the rest of the day I can spend watching NFL, Christopher's Choice, and just relaxing on the couch. Excuse number two. I forgot to budget. Fill in the blank. More times than I care to admit, I have not been able to put the amount of money in my savings that I want because I'm either paying a little extra on a credit card bill or other unexpected expense. Like the month I made a habit of not turning off my air conditioning when I left for the office during the month of July and ended up with a bill three times the amount of my normal utilities. Forgetting to put something into your budget is a guaranteed way to miss your savings goal for the month. Excuse number three. I'll make up that money next month. This excuse goes along with number two, the oh I forgot to budget this. You think to yourself, I'll just make it up next month, but how often does that actually happen? More times than not, it's usually never and I just end up being behind on my savings plan. Excuse number four. I'm young and I want to live now. I did a lot a lot of traveling this year and I enjoyed every minute of it. I did also admittedly save for all of that travel, but as we are nearing the holiday season into the fall and winter months, I find myself wanting to travel again. More on that specific topic in a later video. Now I ask myself, Kristen, did you budget year-end travel? No. But this is where the I'm young excuse comes in. I think to myself, oh, I'm young. I want to make these trips now when I'm able and really enjoy the experience and I can save later. I've got my whole life to save. But no matter what excuse I make to travel, young or old, setting aside money in advance is just wise. Not to mention it really lets you enjoy your trip within reason and doesn't leave you with a huge credit card bill when you return home. And number five. I just don't feel like it. This is basically just being lazy and not wanting to keep up with everything. This does not mean I forgot something. It literally means I knew what I needed to do and I just didn't do it. Procrastination at its finest. I sometimes wish I had a video of me yelling at my future self for thinking things like that. They, oh, I'm too lazy. But the hard truth is I'm an adult and I have to accept the consequences of my actions. And at the end of the day, the only person that's going to be affected by this is me and my savings account. Don't let this be you. Stay focused. But those are my five top money saving excuses. That was kind of rough to talk about, but I got it out there. Once again, this is a collaborative project. I will have everybody who participated listed down below in the description box and on a playlist at the very end of this video. Leave me a comment down below of your top money saving excuses. And once again, if you're new around here, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video on this channel for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.